Okay, time for making up. Uh, I got to <clears throat> a little change. Uh, going between houses is kind of strange because when I left this morning, I didn't do my hey open up thing. You can tell I'm losing strength. I better start doing some uh, my strength exercises. What I do now, you know what I'm gonna do now? I got an idea. I ever tell you this time I was in, in uh, Livingston, Guatemala? Okay, I was in Livingston, Guatemala, right? As uh, hanging with this guy, Jesus, right? Oh, Jesus to you, but Jesus. Because his name is Guatemala. It's Guatemala, so they speak Spanish. You know, even though he's, even though they're they're, they're the Garifuna culture, they also speak Garifuna. You know, like like it's morning, so I would say if Griffin, I would say uh, Benita Benafi. See, that's that's good morning. Anyway, that's not the point. So I was hanging out with Jesus. Uh, you know, about about five ten. You know, re regular, well built kind of guy. You know. And he makes drums, right? So I was hanging out with him, my uh, blood pressure pills, which I'm on. You know, by the time I finish this thing, I'm gonna be through with them. I'm I'm determined to heal myself. And it and sweet tea. Again, this is my last few days in in the south of the United States. I'm going to the south of Africa, so I guess I'll enjoy a couple more sweet teas before I leave. Right. So anyway. So, so like he said, he makes drums. So that what they do, then the Griffin drum is very uh, different because it's, well, it's made out of a tree trunk, right? So you get the tree trunk, right? <laughs> then you gotta hollow it out. When it's finished, it's really interesting because they're, they're, they're distinct drums because because they're fisher people. So they have this fishing wire that goes across the top of the top of the drum. So it's a different kind of sound. Don't worry about that part. Okay. So, one second. This is my vitamin. What is this? This is vitamin D, 5,000 5, I use. I don't really need it, but I got this little bit left, so I figured, because I also take the, uh, I take the vitamin D with the K, K2, whatever it is. That's when I get, like when I go back, what am I doing? I'm just, oh yeah, when I go to South Africa, all I'm gonna do is pick up uh, vitamin E. That's what I need to get down here. I'm not gonna carry it because I got too much to carry. Hey, it's recording here. That's the beast. He's coming. Wow, we buy a lake. What can we say? Looks like a na nature reserve out there. Anyway, uh, so 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 appears, so I'm up here calling myself helping him. So he gives me my little log, and he has his log, and he's hauling out with a chisel, just a regular chisel, you know, those industrial chisel. So I'm there too. Now this is when I was young. I'm, I'm pretty outfit, right? I mean, I mean, outfit. I, would, I mean, I wasn't swole, swole, but I was fit, right? Hauling out this pod, man. Because <laughs> you're going to get this chip of wood, and you got to hollow it out. You know, you got to keep the thing in you. You got to hollow out the whole darn yard. <laughs> so, somewhere in, the, somewhere in the middle of this process, I don't say in the middle of this process, in the process, in the beginning. Okay, let's be fair, in the very beginning of the process, he just stops. He says, You know, Antonio, because, you know, well, don't worry about that part. But in, in, in there, they call me Antonio. Right? They say, say, you know, Antonio, sometimes I'm up there. <laughs> he said, sometimes in the, I wake up in the middle of the night, you know, I just get out of bed. But he's like, I wake up in the middle of the night and I do some push ups. Then I go back to sleep. Then it goes back to doing this log, right? So I'm like, I'm, I'm going like, oh, yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks for that. I still sweat. <laughs> when I'm real. When I realized it, what the brothers say, it was like, hey man, you need, you need to get some strength if you want to do this kind of work. And I've been registered at the time. It was like years later, I kept on not gnawing at me, but two years later, I realized what he was saying. It's like, hey, whenever you can, do your push up. It's kind of interesting because, so I, I, I sleep, you know, but I, I might wake up and then. And I guess when I, when I wake up in the middle of the night these days, what I should do is I should do a bunch of push ups and go back to sleep or something like that. I remember when I was in, in, in uh, Penisco when I was pledging, right? When, when you know they was to get down and give me twenty five, you know. So all, you constantly do push ups all the time. You with the, with the big brothers and stuff like that. And so, but that's the way you do it, as young man. I mean, you know, we need to just uh, intervals, just do push ups. In fact, the uh, that guy Andrew Tate, who's oh, they, man, I should talk about. I'm gonna talk about Andrew Tate on, on the thing. Let me get the Instagram together. Andrew Tate on the Instagram for a bit because that's funny because he said he was in jail one time 
and then he would read a few pages in a book, and then he would, then he'd go down and do and do some push-ups. And they had a camera on him, so that's what he would do. He'd do do the um, read some pages, and then do some push-ups. Uh, you know, at, at the end, he's just there wobbling, but he's still doing the push-ups because he's dedicated. You know, you got to be dedicated to what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, all I'm trying to say is, like, there's ways to address situations, but you got to be dedicated and you better got to be consistent. That's the whole thing. I think, I think, I think. And um, like I said, I'm very excited about going back to South Africa because I got a lot of stuff that's in my head that I got to do. I mean, I'm really, I mean, so, so disciplined. I mean, people, people no, it's got to be this way. People don't realize, with with me personally, it might like seem like it, but I've been trained as a very young man. I've been consistent and disciplined all my life. I'm I know discipline, you know, and like you know, cadet corps, but the, the Air Force, there's no discipline. You know, um, just being in theater, discipline, right? Really, really. Uh, um, BAI, being on radio because radio is just means you got to be on time. You know the the Clicking, you got to be on your program, whatever discipline. So I've realized that most of my life, I know, just the you know, stage managing it's discipline. You know, so most of my life, I realized that I'm, I'm, you know, like discipline is a big, is a big thing. I'm, I never realized it's always been in the background, I guess. You know, but you can't impose discipline on people. You know, you gotta, well, but you, what I say, you can't impose. You can tell them, but you can't impose. I don't like that. So anyway, why did I tell you that? Because I felt like it, I guess. Okay, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Okay. Oh, wait, not ready. I got, I got to tell you how much I walked this morning. Well, I'm messing up all kinds of things. Why don't you all remind me of these things, man? Don't just, don't just sit there. Okay, I walked 13,320 steps this morning, making that 8.92 uh, kilometers. 8.8.92. Let me see what that adds up to. Uh, eight, 8.92 kilometers. Uh, how many miles? Uh, is 5.53, 5.543 miles. Five and a half miles. That's about the average. These, 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 these last few days, I'm doing, I'm doing about five miles, something between five and whatever miles, right? And uh, that's just the way it goes. That's just the way I, that's the way I rolls. I think tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. It's tomorrow the seventh. Yeah, tomorrow's the seventh. I got that whole thing with uh, this is um, thing with um, what's the boy uh, Ben Carson, Ben Benny Benny Johnny Benny. Sammy, what, what the hell's that boy's name? Let me look at let me look at the thing here. I got it right right here. Uh, Billy, sorry, he's a man of note. You think I remember his name? Uh, Billy Carson's got this whole paralyzed veterans. Uh, Billy Carson, there's a workshop all day, and I'm, uh, I've signed up for that. So you know, paid money for it. So I got to do that. So Billy Carson. Tomorrow's Billy Carson's day. So I might get up very early. What I might do, actually, I might take a longer walk and walk. Because I got to do it with my sister, at my sister, at my niece's place. So I might, and that's a long walk. I don't know how many miles it is. So I might, well, we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll, I'll wing it as usual. Okay, so it's beginning by winging it. Let's get us, let's get us. What's going on here? Okay, let's get us uh, ready for what we got to do here. Live. Live, live, hold up. Okay. Which glasses should I do? I should do my other glasses. No, I'm going to do these. No, wait. No, no, because I don't have brown in here. I'm going to do these glasses. A little bit of brown in this one. I, got, I should do other glasses. Huh? Bun up, bun up, bun up, bun up. Yeah, I guess that's all right. I got the, the uh, what do you call it, the bone connectors on, ah, what the hey, um, break all the stuff out, here we go, 
dun, 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 dun. The blob. The blob. You know the blob. You remember the blob? I'm not talking about the movie that came out in the 80s. Well, the remake. I'm talking about the original one with Steve McQueen. Oh, hey, hey. Instagram, it's me, T. From the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. I love it. It's kind of interesting. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say it. Well, I got these, I still got these bone conductors on. So I, I, I misspoke. I shouldn't say I misspoke. But I didn't think that their battery life was long. It was long. I, so, but I think it's pretty, it's long enough. You know what I mean? It's not as long as my other, but it's long enough. But look. This is happening with the boy, with the with the guy, the, the guy that, that they 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 canceled. I mean, they canceled his, his, his transaction, they bank account, they cancel him on all kinds, all the platforms. I mean, they threw his behind in jail. <laughs> I think him and his brother thrown in jail. The, the tape guy. <laughs> I'm laughing because, hey, look, let me let me let me say this right. Well, even he knew, but look, as I said, we say, Helen Keller. Uh, Ray, Ray Charles, Jose Feliciano, and Stevie Wonder could see that this was going to happen. Why? No, the boy, the boy was just was forget that male, whatever they call him. Up. Here's the thing. Let me tell you. And he put his he put his he put his finger on. That's a smart boy. That that cat smart. Him and his brother, they 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 brilliance, right? <laughs> they put him away or trying to get him, trying to kill him, whatever they trying trying to eliminate him off the scene. Because his biggest threat, young men. Let me explain this to you. When, 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 when the military tries to grab you, they grab you between say seventeen and twenty. That's when that's the optimum age for them to grab you. Uh, when you go to college, you go to college from eighteen to twenty-two, whatever it is, right? And then once you get out of college, the, the corporations they might try to grab you at that point. They might try to recruit you at that point because the young men, at that particular point, you know, your your your, your brain hasn't really at twenty-five. Your brain, your, your skulls probably just heal up, you know, really close up, and that close up, whatever. whatever. Um, until then, you're pretty susceptible to stuff. I say susceptible, you know. You make decisions and you sort of stand by them. You you, you feel like you're an adult. You do the, the thing. I'm gonna say you're impressionable, but but when when something like that it sinks, it really sinks in, right? Because it, it coming from the inside, you in, in the knowledge, it comes from the outside, whatever have you. I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but just follow me on this. So, the, his demographic, the people that listen to him, and them young boys. I mean, young boys. I should say that young men between, say I'll say 16, 17, right, and and say 35, right? Those, those your forces. When and, and, and he points out, a lot of other people point out. If they want, if, 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 if the first thing in the army, army moves, whatever have you, the first thing they do, they kill all the young men. That's the first thing they do. What does a lion do in the plains of Africa? They, they, the young, young, young men, he wants to take over pride. He got killed all the young men. Get rid of them, boys, right? Like that. And this is what society trying to do. This is what the old heads trying to do, right? So, but what they don't understand, you can't do it. It's impossible. Not in this day and age. See, the internet is not necessarily uh, a what, what do you call that a uh, a tool of liberation. It's a tool of hey, who's that? Who's waving? I wave back. Hey, hey, hey! Good, join in. It's not gonna be that long though, because this is Instagram. Remember, but what happens is it's. Let me put it this: information is knowledge. Knowledge is power, right? So what their whole thing is, right, is uh, they want to control the information. Right, because they know that gives the knowledge. Knowledge gives power. Internet and all of us, all these platforms, they can be a distraction. But a lot of people are getting a lot of knowledge from it. A lot of people, a lot of us, we use it for things like you know, how how to grow a garden, how to be more efficient with this, how to be more efficient with that. Right. But when you have somebody saying like, no, we we need to be men. We can be more men, and we need need to stand up. And uh, well, why are you going? One of the things he said that was like, I was, I was, I said, oh boy, he in trouble now. He said, go, go to war for Joe Biden to do what? Blah blah blah. When he hit that one, I said, oh, it's all over. This was this about two weeks ago. I still heard this one. I said, it's all over. They gonna come after him with a vengeance. Don't young men don't fight nobody else's war. That's what the boy saying. If what's in it for you? In fact, Donald Trump is the same thing. Here's the funny thing: Donald Trump said the exact same thing when, uh, I guess, when he went over to um, what do you call that? Uh, uh, when they whole ho- ho- France thing, and he wouldn't go to the to the beach or something like that. <laughs> and they said, "No, but you got to honor the soldiers." He said, he said "I don't." I, he said, "I don't even understand why, why why young men go to war. You know, why want to fight somebody for what?" But so anyway, you understand what I'm saying. So the boy, I mean, hey. 
It don't matter if you get him. It's too late. The cat's out the bag. As a matter of speech, right? The lion is out the bag. Forget the lion. You know the most dangerous cat? The tiger. The tiger is Roman. The, the, and, the, and the tiger is a solitary animal. And once you excite a bunch of tigers, right? They, they have their own territorial thing, but they operate on their own. You know what I mean? There's too many tigers out here. You worry about lions? Lions are punks. You know what I mean? They, they, need, they need the women to do the stuff for them. You know what I mean? All they, okay, forget, I'm not gonna do that. Let me leave that alone. It's the tiger you gotta be, a tiger you can kick up the lions behind, believe me. These cats are tigers. <laughs> so, Oh, it's so interesting to be as well, I say to be an ancient head. I know you all say old head or OG or something like that. But I'm a I'm an AG, right? An ancient <laughs> an ancient gangster, right? And I'm telling you, right, these folks ain't gonna win. It's it, it just it's all over with. Forget it, man. You know what I mean? So all you people holding on to your little liberal liber, liber, liberated these ideas or whatever you whatever you all think you're gonna be join the system, you're gonna be integrationist. There's too many people out here. You know, starting from a from, from something like like a Tommy Curry to to uh, uh, Army Osei Fairprom to, to 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 Andrew Tate. I love being a black man in this era, in this epoch. This is a great epoch to exist in, right? So, and plus, since I'm an old man, I I, I can't. I'm harmless. I, you know, I can't. I, I don't even have strength to to do whatever I'm supposed to do. So. Coming after me ain't gonna do nothing, and and then the young boys, you good luck in trying to come after the young the, the youngins, as they say, as the white the youngins. Good luck, it ain't gonna work. So I'm just gonna sit back, you know. Well, actually, I sit back. I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of stuff I got to do with, with young people too. But I mean, I'm gonna sit back, put my head behind my head, and so, oh, let me see what's happening today. Oh, the system has been dismantled a little bit more. Oh, wow, I love it. Go take care. I got to go. It's Instagram. You know what I mean? Type out your sign up. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, just an early warning for these these people who think that they, they, they rule the world. Don't rule the world no more. The world rules the world. Oh, there's a good saying. Who rules the world? The world rules the world. And and you ain't in it, right? Your, your, your stuff ain't working no more. Like this, share. Okay. Who rules? That's a good question. Oh, too bad I don't have that thing. I wonder if they do that here. Let me see what happens if you put the question mark, if you hold the question mark down. Yeah. Yeah. Who? W -A, who rules? R U L. Rules. Uh, should I put the D E and then put the world together? Yeah, I put it put it together. Small D E capital W O R L D. Who rules the world? And then the question mark. I gotta show you this because there's certain things. I, there's certain things I think should be done. Like for instance, um, uh, the way the Spanish write. Like like if you have an expert, you want to say you know. Stop that, right? And so to stop that would be an exp stop that an explanation point, right? What they would do, they put ex when you write it out, they put explanation point in front of it and the back of it. So, so in here, I put who do, who rules the world. I don't know if you can see that. You see, I put the question mark before because you can do that in this modern device. I put before the, the the sentence, the question, and after, and that's proper. A lot of stuff that Spanish put Western brands. There's a lot of stuff Spanish people I do that makes a lot of sense. Like for instance, your very last name in Spanish, right, is your is your is your mother's last name. You know, so lineage bet goes down through your mama. I guess I don't know how you do that. But that that add to series that makes more sense to me than just putting somebody's last name. You know, could be your father, could not be your father. Like my my, my circumstances. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just saying, put in the morning. My circumstances that see. I'm I'm one of seven children, six different fathers. So hey, you know it's better if we all had my mother's last name because then we know you wouldn't be confused later on and say, hey, this might be your, you know, your cousin or your or your sister, your brother, something like that. But anyway, so I think the Spanish has the right idea like that. But who knows what happens? Okay, so that's done. Okay, so good. All right, so look, uh, everything's done. Uh, 
I'm starting really to get together to pack things up. You know, I got to do some stuff. I got to look for some. Oh, please. I hope this. I hope I can. We got to go up into the attic here and see if I can get some of these tapes that are, that are really very valuable. Uh, or some work paperwork is really, really valuable. We'll see what happens. Okay? So that's it. I'll check you all later. Be well. Bye-bye.